Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. Good, good idea. We'll try to do that for you, sir. Next up, it's another MMA light heavyweight super fight. Please welcome to the stage, Elia the Sledgehammer Latifi. <laughs> Get 95 kilograms. TV comes in at 92.8 kilos. His opponent on the Loma Linda, California, please welcome Tony Kryptonite Lopez. Tony Lopez comes in at 91.8 kilograms, so it's official. Alir the Sledgehammer Latifi will meet Tony Kryptonite Lopez at Glory World Series here in Stockholm, Sweden. You know what, I'm going to just ask each athlete a question, and I know the media will have an opportunity to uh, get interviews with these athletes later just to speed things up. Tony, first of all, you've got a lot more experience than your opponent tomorrow night. Do you think that is going to be the biggest advantage you bring into this fight? No, no I think the biggest advantage is my height. So I got, I got a lot more reach. I find that easier. Latifi, what about you? What do you think of your opponent tomorrow night? That's your second of two MMA super fights. Let's hear it for Leo the Sledgehammer and TV and Tony put tonight in Lopez. <laughs> Again, don't forget that the fights will be streaming live on internet pay-per-view beginning at 6.30 p.m. Central European time at gloryworldseries.com and we are going to begin the weigh-in now for the Glory First 16. First of all, from Switzerland, please welcome Shepshi Bekiri. A nine-time world kickboxing champion, a three-time European kickboxing champion, and definitely a man to watch out for as all 16 of these fighters are, 16 of the very best stand-up fighters at 70 kilos in the world, all under one roof tomorrow night at the Annex as we kick off the Glory World Series, the first 16, and of course, the grand prize, a $300,000 check. I can't think of much better motivation than that. So 70 kilograms is the weight they have to make to be involved in the tournament and Bakuri stepping on the scale. Sixty nine point six kilos, he comes in under the seventy kilogram class and he is ready to go. His opponent, a two time K one World Max Japan tournament champion from Nagoya, land of the rising sun, please welcome Yoshihiro Sato. Jag tror det var han en liten 
Sato weighs in at 69.8 kilograms, so it's official. The first 16 World Series matchup underway. Shensi Bakiri versus Yoshihito Sato. Shamsi Bakiri, Yoshihiro Sato with our translator. What's your name? Saya. Saya, thank you very much. Ask him what it means to be involved in this tournament. Let's hear it for both athletes once again, Shepsi Bakuri and Yoshihiro Sato. <laughs> Next up in the tournament, we welcome from Bedford, England, Tim TNT Thomas. Tim TNT Thomas is here. Okay. Let's go with uh, his opponent, Dennis Chucky Schneidmiller from Germany. Tim Thomas will be joining us later this evening, and uh, Dennis Schneidmiller now looking to make 70 kilograms. Cool. <laughs> 69.4 kilos, the 2006 WBC Muay Thai World Champion and 2007 K1 East Europe Tournament winner is on weight. And he will wait for his opponent, Dennis, uh, what's your name, sir? Danny, okay, Danny, uh, ask him uh, what does he think is going to be the key to winning the entire tournament? <laughs> that sounds good to everyone in the fans. Let's hear it for Dennis Schneidmiller. Next up, we have from Russia, Jabbar the Genghis Khan Askarov. And his opponent who will be standing by from the Netherlands, a Roman poker face, Van Five 
champion in Kyokushin Kai Karate, 44 professional fights, just 24 years of age, so lots of experience for the youngster David Kiria. Sixty-nine point five kilos for Mr. Kiria, his opponent from Thailand, M. Sitsong Pinong. for Kim Sitsong Pinong. <laughs> All right, David Kiria, what is the biggest key for you to defeat your opponent from Thailand tomorrow? What do you need to do? I'm happy to fight. Final 16 and uh, I am ready. Right on, let's hear it for David Kiria and his opponent, Ken Sitsong Pinong. How are you doing, sir? You come from Thailand, of course, the mecca of Muay Thai. What's, uh, what are his thoughts on being in the glory for 16? Well, he's first of all very proud to be fighting and representing Thailand as the current <laughs> Thai fight champion. And uh, he's also going to do all the talking with his fists tomorrow. All right, let's hear it for another matchup in the Glory 416. Now they against Ken Sitsong Pidong. Next up, it's Michael Corley from the United States against fellow American Kai Hollenbeck. The Battle of the Stars and Stripes coming to the stage right now, beginning with 27-year-old Michael Corley. Thank 
All right, Michael, first of all, we know that your uh, native country is really uh, crazy about mixed martial arts these days. Uh, how has your career been uh, supported in the United States, and what do you hope to accomplish in this tournament to hopefully build awareness in the U.S. for this kind of fighting? Uh, all right, thank you very much, Michael Corley and uh, Kai Hollenbeck. Are you going with the uh, don't hit a guy with glasses routine tomorrow? What's up? <laughs> Something like that. What, is your, what are your thoughts on being in this uh, tournament and facing a fellow American in the opening round? Uh, happy to be here. It sucks that I have to go into uh, some of my own country, but I've got to do what you got to do to get to that final eight. All right, let's hear it for both guys. Kai Hollenbeck and Michael Corley facing off in the 4416. And we continue with the tournament weigh-in as we welcome from Sweden, Sani Dahlbeck and his opponent... Both of them to the stage, please. Dalbeck is just 21 years of age, already with 27 professional fights. A 2011 Swedish Muay Thai champion, definitely a star on the rise here in Sweden, looking to win it all in the Glory First 16. Sixty-nine point seven kilograms is the official weight for Sandy Dalbeck. His opponent from the Netherlands, twenty-nine years of age, Warren Stableman, is going to be making his way to the scale. A two thousand eight K one Max Netherlands champion with seventy-seven professional belts on his resume. Warren Stableman is official at 69.2 kilograms. Let's hear it for both athletes. Sonny, first of all, you're representing your home country of Sweden. What does it mean to be in a tournament of this stature in your, you know, backyard? Uh, this is the biggest thing I've done in my life so far, so I'm happy to be here. I'm excited about coming back to the tournament. I hope uh, I don't disappoint Sweden. Lots of family and friends going to be in attendance? Yeah, Do you prefer to fight in front of family and friends, or would you rather be away from the pressure? Or is it always pressure no matter what? There's always pressure, but I like, I like the support for people. Thank you very much. And Warren, you uh, you get the call at short notice, but you're always ready for a fight, aren't you? Always ready for a fight. Uh, it was a short notice, and uh, I'm happy to, to be here. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a uh, great <coughs> All right, let's hear it for both athletes again. Sunny Dalbeck from Sweden and the Netherlands, Warren Stiegelman. The Glory for 16 away is continued from Denmark. Would you please welcome Mohamed Almir and his opponent, the inaugural. K1 Max World Champion Albert the Hurricane Kraus. We'll ask Mohamed Elmir to step to the scale first, please. 23 years of age, 2011 WKN European Kickboxing Champion, 43 fights, 37 victories. Sixty-nine point one kilograms for Mohammed El Mir, and from the Netherlands, one of the most decorated stand-up fighters in his weight class. Again, the 2002 K1 Max World Champion, the 2003 K1 Max World Finalist, seventy-seven professional fights, fifty-nine victories. Please once again welcome Albert the Hurricane Kraus. shorts on as well. <laughs> 69.5 kilograms, it is official. Another glory for 16 matchups in the box. Mohamed Elmir against Albert Kraus.
uh, quickly, Mohammed, uh, why did you become a, a fighter? Why do you fight for a living? I fight uh, for I, I, I like to uh, fight and I do it uh, for a living and also to be the best at this tournament. So, uh, Albert Kraus, be aware tomorrow. All right, thank you very much. And Albert, uh, you're no stranger to tournaments uh, of this nature. What does it mean for you to be a part of the Glory First 16? Of course, now everything is new with uh, Glory. Uh, before you are in another company, so uh, to me this is the first time and uh, I hope to start uh, the same as I start in the other organization, to win the first one. I'll do my best. Why do you think you're the man to be? I know I'm that. When I'm, when I'm fit, when I'm totally fit, I train hard and I can be the best in the world. And only in the tournament you need to also a little bit of luck, so I hope I have this luck in this tournament. Awesome stuff. Let's hear it from both Albert Krause and Mohamed El Nier. Next up we have from France, Fabio Pinca, against from Italia, Giorgio Petrosian. Two great athletes about to make their way to the stage. Pinca, 27 years of age, 110 professional fights. He was a 2010 Thai fight champion, a 2008 WMC world champion, and of course now has his sights set on winning the Glory World Series, but he faces a stiff test in the 2009 and 2010 K1 Max World Champion, Giorgio Petrosian. Fabio Pinka comes in at 68.7 kilos. His opponent, Giorgio Petrosian, stepping on the scale. He checks in at 69.9 kilograms. It's official. Pinka versus Petrosian. All right, here we go. Before you go too far there, sir, let's uh, get a quick word from Fabio Pinca. Fabio, uh, representing France, uh, what about, yeah, come over here so the media can take a look at us as well, or especially you, they've got enough of my ugly mug for a day. What uh, are your thoughts on facing a guy like Petrosian in the opening round of this tournament? I <coughs> How would you describe your style of fighting? Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Fabio Pinca and uh, Giorgio Petrosian from Italia. We've got, sorry, what's your name, sir? Carlo. Carlo, okay. So, Giorgio uh, just faced the media there. No stranger to success. Uh, again, I will ask what I've asked others. Uh, why is it so important for him to, uh, to win this tournament? I'm not thinking about the tournament, I'm just thinking about this fight. I know Pinka is a very good fighter and uh, I, I'm just thinking about him and nothing more. E dopo uh, uh, domenica sera uh, mangia un piatto di uh, gnocchi, si? Sì? Oh. <laughs> and, and Sunday evening I will be eat a great plate <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Giorgio Petrucci and Fabio Pinkel, let's hear it for both of them, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, grazie. Ladies and gentlemen, they have all made their weight. The first to 16 of the Glory World Series is official 16 of the best stand-up players in the 7 kilogram weight class about to throw down tomorrow night. And now it's time for...
for the weigh-ins for our super fight, we welcome first from Sweden, would you please welcome Alex Harris and his opponent from the Netherlands, the natural Nicky Holston. Harris is 29 years of age, again representing Sweden, 31 professional bouts, 27 victories. He's a WMC Super Welterweight World Champion and IFMA A-Class World Champion Silver Medalist, so no stranger to success. Looking forward to throwing down. Tomorrow night we're going to begin with Nicky Holtzkin. He's already on the stage. Let's get to it. 28 years of age, a 2007 K1 Max North Europe qualification champ. 76 kilograms for Mr. Holtzkin. He's right on weight, and now Alex Harris also looking to make 76 kilos. 75.3 kilos for Alex Harris. So let's hear it for the super fight between Alex Harris and Nikki Holtzkin. Before you go, my man, I've had the pleasure of calling your fights all over the world. Uh, you're no stranger to this uh, kind of uh, arena. What does it mean for you to be on the first uh, show for the, the New Glory? Yeah, it's nice to be uh, at the Glory now. Uh, what about your goals for, for this year? Because uh, you're, you're building a fan base all over the world. What do you hope to accomplish before this year is over? Sounds good, Nikki the Natural Holtzkin, thank you very much. And Alex Harris from Sweden. Alex, what about facing a guy like Nikki Holtzkin, uh, a veteran of the sport, someone who's uh, been there, done that? It's an uh, honor to meet him. And uh, it's an honor to meet him. He's a great guy and uh, had good experience, but uh, everything can happen in the fight. All right, let's hear it for both of them. It is a super fight in the 76 kilogram division. Alex Harris against Nikki the Natural Holtzkin. Another super fight coming your way from the United States. Carter the Beast Williams against from Turkey Gukan the Rebel Saki now fighting out of the Netherlands. Let's have both gentlemen to the stage, please. Koken Saki, the 2008 K1 World Grand Prix Hawaii champion. 108.9 kilograms for Mr. Saki and his opponent from the United States, Carter Williams. One seventeen point one kilograms for Carter Williams. Again, this is a super heavyweight matchup, so they're just getting it on in their clothes, and it looks like things are getting intense. Kukat, how are you, my man? Good to see you again. I know this is a stand-up fight, but we keep hearing uh, rumors of you maybe one day going into MMA as well. Is that ever going to come to fruition? Do you foresee a, a career in mixed martial arts when you're done throwing down in the stand-up? No. Never? Never. Never want to do an MMA. You're a stand-up fighter through and through. I believe in ability, so uh, I think I'm going to stay on the, uh, the first stand-up fight. That sounds good to me. Kukat, Saki, Carter Williams, at least as well, but uh, you're back in the stand-up game. What about this matchup against uh, one of the world's best? Spider. I look forward to getting my knees up with him, kicks, punches, and knees. I think it's going to be a good fight. I'm talking to myself. All right, let's hear it for Carter Williams and Bukhan the Rebel Saki. And finally, for the main event.
event tomorrow night at Glory 416. It is for the Glory Heavyweight Championship. Would you please welcome to the stage Errol Zimmerman and Semi Schilt. Semi Shill, without a doubt, one of the most decorated stand up fighters in combat sports history. The only man to win four K1 World Grand Prix championships. And now looking to become the first glory heavyweight champion with the title vacant. It's the main event of the event coming your way tomorrow night. It all gets underway at 6 30 p.m. Central European time. If you can't be at the annex in Stockholm, check it out on gloryworldseries.com. 132.2 kilos for Semi Schultz and his opponent, Errol Zimmerman. 2008 K1 World Grand Prix in Amsterdam champion. 14.9 kilos. They are about to get it on Saturday night in the feature attraction for the Megan Glory Heavyweight Championship. And this is what it's all about. They'll be vying for this beautiful belt, the Glory Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Sammy, you did everything you could in that other organization, and now you are headlining the first uh, Glory event, the new Glory. What does it mean uh, to you to be in the main event and, and to vie for the title? And I'm just going to stand on my tippy toes if I could. What is the prediction for your fight against Errol Zimmerman? How how do you think you're going to beat him? All right, Semi Schultz right there, vying for the vacant glory. Anyway, title will get uh, Mr. Zimmerman to come over when he's dressed up and give us a few words as well. Errol, you're a veteran of the sport, Golden Glory. I know you guys don't train together, but you represent one of the top camps in, in combat sports. Tell us what it would mean for you to be the, the Glory Heavyweight Champion. It, it would be a great thing for me, and uh, also for the Glory, because uh, that's a young and uh, he can do a lot with me. So tomorrow I will give a good show and take the time to win. Errol Zimmerman, Semi Schultz for the Vacant Glory Heavyweight Championship in the main event for more. Oh my God. Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com.